the Army War College team came in and ran a international strategic crisis negotiation exercise. And that afforded eight groups of Penn Law students to come together as teams representing different countries in the Asian region to try to solve this regional uh, strategic problem. I'm, I'm very pleased to see how the students are engaging with the exercise. Their negotiation skills, their understanding, their ability to communicate clearly and concisely has impressed me very much. I was the head of delegation for Vietnam. We were able to act as this broker, a middle person and leadership for the entirety of the simulation. And we really used that ability to gather information and to gather support and unity to really advance our goals. Maybe $5 trillion in trade goes for the South China Sea. So I think it's, it's an interesting issue to stop and think about how this might be addressed and uh, to find a way to uh, use diplomacy uh, to resolve these differences. Government employees, international negotiators, high-ranking civil servants, even if the work isn't, doesn't require one to be a lawyer, so many lawyers go into that work and are well-suited for it. It's wonderful to give these students that experience. And it's a nice reminder that even though we as law students like to solve all problems and we are very problem solution oriented, that sometimes problems can't be solved and sometimes it's the process that actually matters.